today I'm going to we're going to go back to the disco fever age of the 1970s with Mickey Mouse. Now Mickey Mouse had a rough decade in the 60s and the 70s was pretty rough too. Uh, the films were doing far far better in the 60s and 70s stuff like Peter Pan and Sleeping Beauty and um, like uh, what else was then like 101 Dalmatians. All those films were were doing far better. Uh, than anything else. So there was the Mickey Mouse Club on, but that was pretty much it. Now, at the end of the 70s, specifically 1979, Mickey had a hit hit album that I think actually went double platinum, which was called uh, Mickey's, Mickey Mouse's Disco, Mickey Dis- Mickey's Disco, Mickey Mouse's Disco, something like that. And uh, that's what we're going to draw from. So... Uh, we start with the circle and we just kept carving and carving away at that circle just whilst I was talking about it. There was no real reason for me to keep carving that. It looks like some kind of maniac drew it. Let's say something from the ring or something. Right, so let me just carve out a bit more of a nicer circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle, just an approximation. Or just keep carving in like a crazy person like I just did. Right, so we've got our circle, rough circle there. So, yeah, so let's break this up into quarters, like I normally do. For the simplicity of yourselves, to be able to follow along. So, 1979, what a year for disco. It had, uh, well, actually, it was pretty much the last year of disco, I think. I think uh, there was pretty much just... This that was successful, because I mean it was successful, believe it or not. And um, one other slight little album, maybe maybe people have heard of, Off the Wall by Michael Jackson. So Off the Wall did slightly better than uh, Mickey Mouse's Disco. Well, I'll I'll let you decide which one was the best album, but I know which one I'm going with. And sorry to say, Mickey, it wasn't that. I'm going to rock with you, Minnie Mouse. Um... Right, okay, so we've got the head there. We'll maybe do the full body, maybe just, just do the head, because we've been doing a lot of full ones recently. It is a good pose that he's doing, isn't it? I'm not sure. Maybe we'll do... Let's let's, let's just do the head for this one. We've done... Um, we've done a lot of kind of big, full... Uh, Mickeys over the last few weeks. So let's let's just... Keep this one simple to follow along with. Let's let's just do a head. And next week we'll get back to doing uh, full body. So obviously Mickey Mouse, the standard shape is a circle with an oval, with a nose and with ears. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this and maybe one day we'll do uh, the full front cover to this, like Mickey and Minnie doing the disco dance kind of thing, because that's that's just funny. And then let's join into it around here somewhere. So we've got an oval like this, really. It's it's just at this kind of angle. Like that, just scribble an oval in. And then we want his nose. So he's tilted more round this way than he normally is seen in these kind of poses. So let's stick a circle in like that. And if you look, it comes to a round this this quarter line here. Like I say, I wouldn't normally well like I said in previous videos, I wouldn't normally draw with the um I wouldn't normally put quarters in things and stuff like that. It's it's just so it is just a little bit easier for you to follow along with. Right, so let's come down like this. So we're kind of connecting where this this um quarter line, the three quarter line kind of comes in. It's got this kind of thing. Then we've got the huge arcing smile that comes. So what we'll do is we'll stick this in here somewhere. Like so. So it's just a little thing. It's it's where the muscles scrunch up when you when you smile the muscles and fat. So I guess the left hand side of this is probably going to be touching this this quarter line. So we're going to come from here, which is slightly to the left of the center of this segment. We're going to come down. 
like so. And all we're going to do is we're going to aim for here, but in a nice arc. Okay. So we're cutting through this top corner part here. Coming in. And kind of fit in that in there like so. Now we can maybe get an even nicer arc there. There we go. It was just an awkward. Awkward? That's a new word. An awkward angle for my hand to draw. There we go, that's that's enough. Then let's stick in his mouth. So we're gonna come from this this part here. So it's just to the right of this this kind of the half of this box. And we're gonna come down. We're gonna come off the circle slightly with our little arc, not too far off. This is the bottom of the circle, we don't want to be coming all the way off. Just just flicking off slightly, like so. Then instead of just coming in and attaching like that, we're going to come like and follow it round slightly. So you'll see what I mean. Just thought I'd mention that. So we're going up and round like this. So there's a slight S going on there. Like so, and then Mickey's tongue is quite big. So it's kind of like a McDonald's sign for the for the tongue. There we go. Then we are going to touch around this this center line here. We're gonna just poke out slightly like this. We're gonna come round and follow it, and we're gonna aim for so around here, around this spot here. So we just need to go around like that. We're just f making a nice kind of circle, half circle, semicircle kind of thing, and connecting down there. There we go. Then we're going up. And this point where these touch here is probably just to the right of this. Like I say, I'm just working this out as I go along where these points uh, connect. Because obviously on the original picture, these these points are not drawn in. I mean, I guess you could draw them in on that picture if you wanted to. Right, so we need to work out the center line for this. So let's just first thicken this up a bit. And if you look, it's not just like that. There is a slight S going on. Look, slight S like that. Coming down and then getting slightly thinner as we get further away. Like that. Go a little bit thicker if you want. I mean, I've got quite a thick bottom lip. Like so. So we need to work out the center line, and that is the point at which, um, like I say, if we've got a ball like this, if we're looking at a line on the ball straight on, and we had eyes coming off like this, then we rotated this ball, this line would become more of an arc because it's rotating around. One eye would appear bigger than the other, which would kind of flatten out like that. And that's what's happening here. Although they did, they don't kind of tend to bend them around quite as much as what I did there. So we've got this center line here. So we, we just need to be thinking about this. This is the center of the eyes because the Mickey's done a little bit more graphic where there's no real there's not a huge amount of perspective on, on that, that section there with his eyes. Right, so we're basically going to follow this center line, but we're going, I don't know, two thirds of the way up here. Maybe not even as far as I've gone. Maybe some, somewhere down to there. Then we're going to flick back up and around like that. There we go. Right, so we're pretty much done now. We just need to add the eyes. Again, Mickey went through a stage of having eyebrows. And he's, he's got them on this one. So what we're going to do is we'll, we'll stick the ears on first. So let me get rid of this terribly, terribly drawn McDonald's logo. Don't want to be promoting no McDonald's, man. Get rid of all this here. And then... 
these ears are not as big as they sometimes are. They probably, if if we take the, this is probably half the size of, of the head. If we take it up to just under that, so maybe around here somewhere, and how far it's going to come out is maybe like a another quarter, maybe slightly more. So we're not going to go any bigger than this. So let's start here, and as always with Mickey, if you look on this one, his head is here, and the ears come into the head a bit. It's not like this, where they're just stuck on the top like that. So we're going to come in slightly on this top one, and where it connects is, is around here. So as you can see, quite close to there. So we're going to come up, and let's let me just, just, just kind of draw one in quickly like that. Okay, let's fatten this out. Sometimes with spheres and ovals and things like that, it's a little easier to just do that crazy person scribble that I did at the beginning, kind of come up with a uh, approximation of all of them added together. Right, so it's something like that, and then we're going to come out even further with this this one because obviously it's further around the head plus this one is closer to us I imagine I'm not sure and we're going we're carving carving into the head a little bit more so maybe this one's a little further away so we're coming up to this three quarter vertical line here we're coming up to around there going out round how far down we're coming near near the bottom of the of this circle, if, if we put this out around the bottom of the circle, there we go. So let me thicken this out, and what I'll do at the end, as always, is I'll do an, a quick inking and colouring. I'll do that in super speed, so you can see, um, so you can see me just scribbling that quickly. Just, just uh, the reason why I do it is to is just so I can tighten the lines up for you so you're not just seeing all this sketchy stuff but this is how it's done and if you want to clean it up on paper then you just put some paper over the top and trace it you get a thing called a light box which is basically just a bright light so let's go and stick in this eyebrow so it's going to come it's basically going to connect on this line and this line like so, and then it's going to have that kind of fingernail feel to it, whereas if it's like this, it's still thin at this point, that kind of moon thing, where it's it's thin here, thickens up, then gets thinner again. So it's going to look something like that. Then this one's going to be about level with where the... Um, uh, what, what the, what's the thing? We can bring this down slightly, actually. Let's just soften it. Let's bring it slightly down to about there. Still touching the center line, like that. And then this one is gonna be about level, maybe just slightly down from from the 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 point that we created here. And then it's gonna basically touch that side. But it's going to be a little bit thinner because it's further round. It's just going to be a little bit shorter, like so. So now we just need to add in the eyes. Now, the eyes, if we look at this box here, this looks like some kind of cool sunglasses for Mickey. But if we look at this box here, it's going to be based around this box. So we've got an oval that's going to come down, like so. It's going to come... It's just going to touch inside this next box, and it's going to just touch underneath this box. So we've got this kind of look now. Maybe come to a slight bit more of a arc around there. Let me just fatten this up a little bit. Let's soften it. And then let's fatten it. There we go. So we've just got a nice oval there. And then the eye ball sticking a 
big old black oval in there as well which I mean it's not essential that this is absolutely perfect but I'll try and get it as close as possible make it quite big like that then we just want to stick in this extra eye now some of the eye will be hidden behind the muzzle but it's important to still draw that part in because um, we get a nicer uh, oval if, if we're still drawing even though we're not going to see it so look you can see that that oval's in like that and it's coming it's going to come up slightly higher than this one so it's going to be that kind of angle to it like so and then you want to come just shy of where that nose attaches like that okay and then just stick in the eyeball and he's looking across at mini there we go like so now is there any things that don't seem to look right the eyes are supposed to be at this slight off angle. Now what I'll do is I'll make this a little bit shorter so there's a bit more of an angle here. So let's just dull this. Come in. There we go. Something like that. And let's just fatten this pupil very slightly. There we go. So as you can see now, I'm, I'm, uh, um, I'm not coloring. I'm inking, inking this uh, very, very, very fast motion. And like I say, the reason why I'm doing the inking is just so you can kind of see what it looked like more finished. This is it's not a perfect inking by any stretch of the imagination. This is just a very quick. A very quick run through. So that's Mickey from the 1970s. Like I say, I'll maybe do the full pose one day with him and Minnie kind of doing the dance. I'll maybe do that at the at the end when I get to I get to the modern day Mickey, and then I'll go back and do kind of my favourite uh, Mickey image throughout the years. So yeah, so this was how to draw Mickey Mouse in the 1970s, which, like I say, was a pretty rough year unless you're into disco, a rough decade unless you're into disco music. You got um, Off the Wall and Mickey Mouse's Disco. Right, so if you want to see more Mickey Mouse videos, tickle the old down below's down there. Click the subscribe button and the like button. And there should be a link in the description to the rest of the Mickey Mouse videos going all the way back from 1928 until, well, if, if we're in the future from when I'm recording this, then we could be in the 80s, 90s, 2000s, modern day, whatever. So uh, like and subscribe, like I say, and until next time, have an awesome, awesome, awesome week, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.